and any mere application is only as strong as the substrate it's adhered to. First, make sure the mirror, substrate, and mastic are all at room temperature, about 72 degrees Fahrenheit, 22 degrees Celsius. Mirrors brought in cold can still have condensation on them, which will impede adhesion of the mastic. In addition, if the mastic is cold, it's hard to scoop, making properly sized paths tough to form. All substrates must be checked for moisture before installation. Any dirt or oil must be removed. Any loose paint or wallpaper has to be cleaned off. Unsealed surfaces or processed or treated wood must be cleaned and sealed. To prep a painted wall, you should sand through to the original surface, clean the substrate, and primer seal where the mastic is to be applied. Washable paints are formulated to resist staining, so they can inhibit the adhesion of mere mastics, whereas oil-based paints found in older construction become brittle with age and cannot be dependent upon to support a mirror either. Therefore, all paint must be removed before applying the mastic. Wall coverings should be removed or six inch diameter holes cut out and the substrate cleaned and sealed where the mastic is to be applied. All porous substrates such as brick, cinder block, wood, drywall, and plaster should be primed to promote adhesion. A sealer adds strength to a porous substrate and also prevents caustic chemicals from attacking the mirror backing. Chipboard or particle board is produced with wax in the mold, which fuses with the wood particles and is present on the board surface. Sealers will not adhere to wax. Sand the chipboard or particle board before applying the sealer. Non-porous substrates like ceramic tile, glass, mirror, porcelain, and metals do not need to be sealed, but must be clean and dry. Metals must be free of rust, oil, grease, or paint. Before placing the mirror against the wall, apply a mirror edge sealer. This protects it against moisture contamination, typically found in high humidity areas such as bathrooms and gyms, which can result in what is referred to as black edge. Aerosol mirror edge sealant, catalog number S209, is an easy to use clear spray. Mirror edge sealant, our catalog number MES16, is a clear liquid that comes in a pint can. Gunther Seal Quick Mirror Edge Sealer comes in a four fluid ounce bottle with a built in sponge dauber top applicator for fast and easy application. All mirrors must be supported at the bottom and mechanical fasteners should also be used at the top as well. Bottom support can include a backsplash or a mechanical fastener like J-channel properly secured into the wall. Mechanical fasteners at the top can include plastic mirror clips, double face tape, bendable clips, or pins. Use clear plastic setting blocks to cushion the mirror in J-channel or on the backsplash. The barely visible setting blocks also help prevent moisture from being trapped in the bottom of the channel, which can eventually blacken the edge of the mirror. Before applying the mirror mastic, it is a good practice to record the batch number that you will find from either the tube, the can, or the case on your work order as well as on the substrate with the date of the installation. If there should be a failure, the batch number can be traced to determine if the material was bad. Photos will also be required to show that the proper bead size, pat, and primer was used during the application. The first mastic we are applying is regular Palmer mirror mastic in the can. It is compatible with all major brands of plate glass mirror, acrylic mirror, and backing paints. It may also be used with mirror safety tape film, category 2 only, that has been washed first with a 70% solution of isopropyl rubbing alcohol. This mastic is ideal for large mirrored walls, columns, and vanities, as its heavy body helps compensate for variations between the wall and the mirror. It can be applied to either the mirror or substrate. Here we're installing the mirror to porous drywall, so we need to prime it first with Palmer Mirror Mastic Bond. Because the pad of mastic will spread out to about four and a half inches when the mirror is pressed firmly to the surface, this black primer should be applied with a brush or roller to that area, then allowed to dry to the touch, typically one to four hours. Applying a minimum of one ping pong ball sized mound per square foot. Keep away from the edges to prevent squeeze out and place the mounds so that space is left after they're spread out so that the mastic can cure properly. With minimum coverage, one gallon will yield approximately 130 to 135 pats. For accurate application, the Palmer Mastic Electric Applicator has a heated bowl to easily scoop uniform-sized pats from the can. 
and this heat helps begin curing the mastic. Using the electric applicator, apply the space pats in rows about 8 to 12 inches apart and 6 inches in from the edge of the mirror. Curing time will depend on temperature, humidity, type of substrate, and amount of air that can reach the mastic. Typical curing time for the Palmer regular mastic is 30 to 45 days. Regular Palmer mirror mastic may also be applied in beads. For proper coverage, apply a minimum of one bead per foot in three quarter inch widths, which will flatten under pressure to approximately two inches wide. The next mastic we will demonstrate is fast curing Palmer quick set for plate glass mirror only. On porous substrates like our drywall here, a primer or sealer, oil based is best, water based is okay, should be used. Never use paint or mirror mastic bond. Allow the primer to dry, then apply the quick set in either beads or mounds. Place the beads or mounds so that space will be left between them when the mirror is installed and away from the edge to prevent squeeze out. Quick set is ideal for mirror to mirror overlays, beveled strips, and mirrored furniture. On these non porous substrates, sealing or priming is not necessary. Mounds should be approximately one and a half inches in diameter with a minimum of one mound every square foot. Each vertical bead should be approximately half inch in width with a minimum of one bead every foot. Beads should spread out to approximately two inches and mounds to approximately three and a half inches. At room temperature, quick set will cure to approximately 80% strength in 48 hours, depending also on humidity, type of substrate, and amount of air that can reach the mastic. With minimum coverage, one cartridge will install approximately 20 square feet of mirror. CRO heavy bodied mirror mastic is applied in similar fashion and for similar applications as the regular Palmer mirror mastic in cans. Applications to porous substrates require a primer, either three pound cut shellac or mirror mastic bond. Apply in pats that will spread out to about four and a half inches when the mirror is pressed firmly into place. Each pat should be a minimum of one square foot apart. For easy application, use the electric scoop applicator. CRL light bodied mirror mastic is a top quality adhesive. Use it to coat an entire mirror backing to hold pieces together in case of breakage. Use with double sided mirror mounting tape for small mirror installations or with J channel with mirror clips for larger mirror installations. Light bodied mirror mastic is not for use with heavy mirrors or in overhead installations. The first Gunther mastic we are applying is Extra Build, formulated to be extremely strong for large mirrored walls. It will build out to two and a half inches, which allows for adjustments to make perfect reflection lines and alignment in uneven walls where gaps are up to three quarters of an inch. Extra build is not for use on acrylic mirrors, vinyl back safety film, plastics, or styrofoam. And of course, the same surface preparations that we talked about earlier still apply regarding paint, wallpaper, etc., and mechanical fasteners. Because we are still working on porous drywall, we prime first with Gunther Prime and Seal where the mastic will be applied. Prime and Seal is an acrylic primer that cleans up with water, is non-flammable, and has a flat white appearance when dry. It dries dust-free in about a half hour and is ready for mastic application in approximately four hours. Extra build is applied in four to five inch diameter pads that will spread out to five to six inches when compressed, one for every square foot of mirror. Extra build is also packed in 10.1 fluid ounce cartridges and should be applied in the same size diameter patties taking care to start from the center and not shoot in a circle that would trap an air pocket which could collect solvents and possibly damage the mirror. At 72 degrees Fahrenheit, extra build will achieve approximately 20% strength in 48 hours and full cure in 30 days. Gunther Ultra Bond is a cream colored fast setting adhesive designed for vanity mirrors and installations requiring closed tolerances such as mirror overlays, furniture, and bevel strips. It can be compressed to 1 32nd of an inch or built out to 3 quarters of an inch. Do not use an acrylic mirror, vinyl back safety film, plastics, or styrofoam. And of course the same surface preparations that we talked about earlier still apply regarding paint, wallpaper, etc., and mechanical fasteners. We prime first with Gunther Prime and Seal where the mastic will be applied. For best adhesion from a cartridge, apply Ultrabond in vertical beads the full length of the mirror, five to six inches apart, and allowing three inches from the mirror edge to begin or end a bead. Out of the can, apply four to five inch diameter pads for every square foot of mirror. Gunther Premier is only packaged in 10.3 fluid ounce cartridges. It is gray in color, and unlike all of the other mastics, it is the only one that can be applied to porous and non-porous substrates, 
with or without a primer. Surfaces still need to be clean and sound, and the use of mechanical fasteners is a must. Premier is ideal for high traffic areas like gyms and dance studios because its urethane-based formula absorbs movement and vibration and allows for thermal expansion and contraction. It can build out to two inches for large mirror or uneven wall jobs or squeeze down to a sixteenth of an inch for installations requiring close tolerances such as overlays and mirrored furniture. Premier can be applied in full length beads or pads squeezed out to four to five inches for every square foot of mirror. At 72 degrees Fahrenheit, Gunther Premier achieves approximately 30% strength in 24 hours and full cure in seven days. Premier is VOC compliant and is recommended for use in acrylic mirror by the manufacturers of acrylic products. It also has good adhesion to CAT2 vinyl back safety film tape. The last Gunther product we will demonstrate is the newest mirror mastic to be introduced to the industry in years. Easy Stick mirror adhesive pads are three inch diameter pads of cured asphalt based mastic that provide instant grab to the substrate and are ideal for vanity bathroom mirrors. Simply apply the Easy Stick pad to the wall, remove the release line or paper, and press the mirror into place. The pads come packaged 150 to a box. At minimum coverage of one pad per square foot, each box will cover 150 square feet. Surface preparation is the same for ultra bond or extra build as well as the need for mechanical fasteners. On porous substrates like our drywall here, we prime first with Gunther Prime and Seal where the mastic pads will be applied. Easy stick pads adhere to acrylic mirror and vinyl back safety film. The pads are 3 thick and can be stacked for uneven walls. The pads are applied one per square foot, taking the release liner paper off each pad and then setting the mirror against the pads with pressure. The pads immediately grab the mirror and will hold mirrors up to 36 inches high. We hope this video has provided useful information for you.